Hello and welcome to Gradebook Basics. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create a simple gradebook. And we do that by going to Administration Grades. And it defaults to the grader report where you see the names of your students and along here would be listed all of your assignments. But there aren't any in this one so we're going to create some and we're going to go to this tab categories and items and just like in GMC online you, do, you need to create your categories and your items separately so I'm going to add a category and that category is quizzes you don't have to worry about aggregation or any of this you can have a category total name I'm going to call this Total Quizzes. No item, no ID, grade type, none. Because we're not going to be grading the categories, only the items. Save changes. Now I have a category called Quizzes. I'd like to add another category. And that category is Reports same thing and call this total reports grade type none and save changes I'm going to add one more category that's homework total homework Gray type none and save the changes. Now I see I've got quizzes, reports, and homework. I don't like the order that these are in, so I'm going to work, move homework up above quizzes, and I can do that by using my move button. And I'm going to move that up above quizzes. See, now it's homework, quizzes, and reports. Now that I have my categories set, now I can add my actual items, the things that are going to be graded. So I can add a grade item. And this is called, do my quizzes first, quiz 1. Now I can do value, if that's what it is, value, maximum grade. This is a 10-point quiz. So I put 10 in there. And then I can also grade category down here. I want to put it under quizzes. Save changes. And now see under quizzes I have quiz number one. I'd like to do another quiz. So I'm going to add grade item. This is quiz number two. Grade type value, maximum grade, 10 points. This is a 10 point quiz and I want it to go under quizzes save changes so now I have two quizzes now I want to add a report actually I think I want to add a homework assignment I think I want to do that next add grade item homework this is homework for chapter one and that's worth 25 points save changes and did you see what I did I put that homework in but where is it it's way down here see I didn't click on homework in that pull down menu but that's okay I can move it by clicking on move and then under homework I would add it right there. See, now I have my homework. So I would continue to do that. Let's go ahead and add a report too while we're at it and make that final report. Final report. And this one actually is worth 100 points. So we're going to leave that and we're going to go here under reports save changes now we have it homework chapter one homework total homework quizzes one and two total quizzes 
reports, final reports, total reports. One last thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this the points system. The point system. So do that. We come here, sum of grades. Sum of grades, that's for the entire course. Now we also need to change it for homework, sum of grades, quizzes, sum of grades, and reports, sum of grades. So now you've got your gradebook set up. How do you actually go about inputting the grades? And that's what you do next from your main page to input grades manually. You would go to grades. Now you can see I've got all of my things here for me to grade. I can turn editing on and now I just simply click in here the first box and I know that on her chapter one homework she received a 24. So Marsh is done. Sam got a 25. And poor Tamara, she obviously didn't study, got a 15. And then when I update, there it is. All done. If I wanted to see Marsha's grades just for Marsha, I can click on her grades. We can look at just hers. That's what she's got and her percentage. Over here would be any feedback that you had written in. Let's try another one. We go back to the grader report. And let's say that we want to put some feedback in. After the report we can put here, feedback we can either type it there or we can edit it here. What a nice job you did on your report. And then when we save changes, we can scroll down and we can see that there's some feedback there. So we could have edited right here, but we did the edit the grade and now when we go to look at Marsha's grades, we see that there is some feedback in there. So let's do this again. We go back to the main page you can use your breadcrumbs to do that. Want to put the grades in for the quiz. So I come over here to grades and I need to go to the grader report. I can either click here for grader report or I can click over here for grader report. Grader report. And editing is still on. If editing was off then it would look like this but editing needs to be on or we can't well input grades so now I want to input grades for quiz number one and Marsha got a nine and Sam got a nine and Tambra got an eight and again if I wanted to put feedback in great job on the quiz Sam. I could put feedback in if I want. Now update and now the quiz is updated and if I look at Sam's gradebook, you got 100% on chapter 1 homework and 90% on the quiz and this is what the students will see when they click on their own grades. That's it right there and when we're done Go back to the main page and next time there's a quiz or something that we need to grade, go through the same routine.